guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, it's the 28th and it is currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, today I have finished my socks which are here. Um, they're just hanging up so let me see if I can spin you, spin you around and the light will work um, okay. So this is them. Um, I need bigger sock blockers. I say this all the time uh, but I am planning on ordering some and then um, I decided to dye some yarn. Now I thought well I want some yarn for autumn socks as I've already got um, my August socks sorted um, and I was just debating what to use and not sure so I dyed up my own yarn. Um, let me just show you. It is out here drying. This is the colourway. Oh my god, I'm so pleased with it. Um, I think I might put another bit of twine at the bottom uh, so I can hold it. But I just tried to use red, orange, yellow, green. That looks a little bit blue on screen, but it is a green. And then I did a patch with just splotches on it. Um, I used some uh, grey which look a little bit blue <laughs> but I'm hoping that once it's fully dry because it is still damp I'm hoping once it's fully dry it will look so nice um, I used the um, paint uh, painting method is that what it's called so I laid out loads of cling film I laid this on the counter and just used my pipettes to um, basically put the dye on the yarn Yes, I made a mess. <laughs> yes, it got everywhere. But uh, I have cleaned up since and um, disinfected and my sides and everything. Um, but I wanted to make the colours alter me. So in the yellow, I actually added a tiny weeny little bit of brown, um, which I think has worked up beautifully. Then what I've done is because it was like a very light, um, well, it was this colour basically. I then put that over the orange, which made it a bit more autumn-y, so a bit more warmer. And then I also put the orange over the red, so they sort of all work together. Um, and then I have got a bit here that's a bit more orangey and not as autumn-y orange. Um, and then the green, and then going back into the colours again. So... I can't wait for this to be dry for me to actually see what it's going to turn out like. Um, so yeah, it is almost dry. It's just still a little bit damp. So um, my window cleaner has been today. So what I'm going to do is just hang it out. So if it does bash on the window, I know that my windows are clean because <laughs> um, I can't bother to take it down stairs. So this is skein number three. Um, that I have dyed and I'm really pleased with it. Um, I'm pleased that I've finished my socks. They're on the inside because it's so windy and I'm scared that they're going to catch the wind and blow away. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit more twine on that and um, hang it back outside. I'm going to um, also do a little bit on my red jumper today, watch some YouTube. Uh, the pain in my side is still quite bad every time I sit down or anything. I don't know what a hernia feels like, um, and I don't know what anything else feels like. <laughs> it's just a, a really weird pain, but um, yeah, so hopefully this will be dry today, because it is, like I said, quite windy, and um, it's nearly almost dry anyway, so I will be able to show you later on what it looks like. It's much later on in the day, and we've been to the garage, and Ian has very kindly put a new bumper on my car. Not a new bumper, his old bumper um, on my car. Um, I have got a before and after picture. I will put it here. You're probably not interested, but um, yeah, that happened. And my yarn dried. So this is what it looks like. I'm so pleased with it. I'm really happy the way that the orange and the red have come out. So they're very autumnal. Um, the grey is not brilliant lighting, um, but it's better. The colour's better here than it is here because it's a bit darker. Um, and I really like the way that this part has come out. The, I just literally dropped a few bits on instead of covering the whole yarn. Um, 
there is some white bits in there still and it's not all perfectly covered um, but I really like it and these will be my September socks um, so I'm going to cast on with the bright orange and then I'm going to for August then I'm going to see if I can get those done quickly to see if I can get um, cast on with the second skein that I actually dyed um, if not then it will be this <laughs> um, and then after that it's Halloween and then November is I can't remember what November is but obviously December is Christmas and I have got a Christmas colourway um, I bought that when we went to Waltham Abbey, Waltham Abbey Wall Show from Rose's Moments I'm sure that's what the company's called yes Rose's Moments um, it is a sparkly yarn let me just quickly show you so this is the Christmas colourway that I will be knitting socks up in and it's really pretty that's why I bought it <laughs> um, so yes very autumnal and it's sort of um, how I wanted it to come out so I'm really really pleased with it um, I can't wait to cast it on now <laughs> but I'm going to be casting on the orange ones so uh, I've just got some dinner on we're going to have salt and chilli pork and maple pork things with maybe some chips and coleslaw I think we will, we will see <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it um, I've got a pain in my side I can't remember if I've actually mentioned it but it's sort of getting worse so tomorrow I think um, a call to the doctors is in need um, because I don't know what it is it, I don't know if where do you get hernias <laughs> do you just get them in your groin do you get them higher up I don't know it's literally sort of just here you can't see properly but um, it really hurts when I sit down because TMI but obviously um, I'm big I've got a belly it's sort of where my stomach folds <laughs> uh, when I sit down and where my trousers sit so yeah um, that I'll try and see if I can get a telephone consultation or whatever at the doctors um, so hopefully um, I have been working on the red top today as well I worked on that before I went to the garage and I've put on I think three or four rows um, so I'm hopefully quite near to the bottom so I will come back later as I'm going to work on that this evening show you the progress on that so yeah that's it for now so it's much later on and uh, I thought I'd show you the progress on the red top that I have got so I've just literally tried it on and it's the perfect length uh, for me to start the lacy bit at the bottom and I think that that would be uh, long enough for me because I think it will um, block um, once it's been sort of washed um, and that I think it will block down a bit and uh, become a bit looser um, but it fits me perfectly it's really really nice and I quite like it the shape it is um, so this is it sorry I can't get the whole thing <laughs> in the screen uh, but obviously once it's um, done I will try it on and show you what it looks like properly uh, I've got to go around the neck and then do the sleeves um, oh now in the yarn I've got this much left I haven't weighed it um, but sort of got this much left of it which is probably about 200 grams so I'm hoping it will be enough to do the might be 250 might be half I'm not sure but I'm hoping it'll be enough to do the lacy bit at the bottom and the sleeves um, I don't know if I'm doing the lacy bit on the end of the sleeves. We'll have to see how lacy it really is and how much I'm going to get caught up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm not going to start it tonight. I'll probably start it tomorrow. But I'm really pleased with the way that it's come out and I might even do another one just in the plain. So, in this book, which is the everyday crochet book there is this pattern that's called the jewel and it is just sort of plain that's got a round neck 
and then there is um, another one in here if I can get to it um, there's another one with really nice cuffs um, a split seam at the bottom and a round neck that one's nice as well and where's the other one that I was trying to find this one's quite nice if you found if I like you found a cotton or something and then last but not least is this one which you actually use for most of the um, most of the raglan which is called tall latte which is that one and that's really nice and I really like the sleeve length on that as well uh, but that would be nice in a um, double knit and I, I have I am prefer preferring to knit no to crochet with the double knit yarn um and i have got some that i got from kim which is like a pinky purpley and white um so i just have to see but <laughs> i can imagine me doing quite a few out of this book um i might even try this again in a double knit because i think i would wear it more plus i might do it longer which there is a longer one in here so it's all basically the same variations of one um, pattern, like that is the same one but longer. Oops. Um, so yeah, and that is similar to what I've done because I've made mine longer anyway. But uh, I really like this as well. <laughs> I'm going to stop showing the patterns out of this book in a second. <laughs> but that's really nice with a roll neck. Um, it's quite long, short sleeved. Uh, that's got the same pattern in as the um, the Bolero. So, but yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop going on about this book. <laughs> and um, I've lost my page now, but never mind. Um, it's not hard to find. I really am enjoying working from this book. I've had it for so long and i'm just glad that i actually pulled my finger out and i've done something <laughs> and uh thank you for jan as well for helping me out saying that i could do um use double knit with a five mil hook and so on and so forth but uh yeah so that's progress on that and i will hopefully get the lace part done tomorrow uh that's it for today thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next video bye Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Wednesday um, and I woke up with a headache again. I really don't know why, but um, I've taken some tablets just literally a couple of seconds ago. Um, I woke up about half eight, um, it's now half ten and it has started to ease so I thought I would just take some tablets just to get the edge off anyway. Um, I just took some paracetamol. I've just been watching some YouTube and I have purchased something today. Uh, so I have purchased some new sock blockers because I keep moaning that my ones are too small. <laughs> and I have also purchased from the same person um, a nine inch circular needle for um, knitting socks because I thought I'd give that a try. Um, as I'm quite comfortable knitting socks now, I like... I, want to try sort of different ways of doing them um and i know that people say that doing them on a circular sock needle or circular needle sorry they knit up a lot faster because uh you're not having to pull the needles through and everything i really like doing magic loop and it doesn't bother me so i just thought i would try and get um a nine inch circular to see if i like that um I was going to have a shower this morning and everything like that, but I just can't be bothered to do anything. I haven't even got dressed. I'm still in my night dress. Um, it's like a, a long t-shirt. <laughs> um, it's from Primark. It's got little um, rabbits on it. Squirrels. They're squirrels, I think. Not rabbits. Yes, I think they're definitely squirrels. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I'm just going to have a chill sort of morning and, or like, rest of the morning and and see if my headache goes i've got a cup of coffee um i've just had a banana to see if i was hungry or anything um 
so I haven't had any proper breakfast so I might have some proper breakfast in a little while um, but I'm just watching uh, Chemnitz on YouTube and since I've been dying yarn <laughs> um, I'm loving her videos because all she does uh, more mainly she does um, dyeing videos like yarn dyeing and things and uh, I just inspired by some of the ways that she does things and that so yeah um like i said i've got to the lace oh my arm i've got to the lace on this and i'm going to try and get that done today and then start the sleeves hopefully and then hopefully in a couple of days it might be done if i continue to work on it obviously um but for now i'm just going to chill and see if i can get rid of this headache it's now six o'clock in the evening and I've got a rainbow on my face. <laughs> I think it's from the candle holder. Uh, but I've been working a little bit on this red jumper. Whoops. And um, from when I spoke to you this morning, I have gone to have a lay down because my head uh, started hurting again. I woke up and it wasn't too bad. I took some tablets. It started to ease and then it got bad again. Um, I drank water and it just like wouldn't it just wasn't going away so Ian come home and I had to lay down because it was just like too much um and since having a lay down I think I slept for about well I laid down for about an hour and a half I don't know how long I slept for um it has gone fingers crossed it stays gone um if you can see this in the background it's my my dolly <laughs> um but I thought I would uh, try and do some more of the, the lacy bit on the jumper to see if I can get that finished. Um, no Zoom chat today because I went and had to lay down. I <laughs> uh, completely forgot about it as well. Uh, just It wasn't until I got up I was like, oh, it's Wednesday. Um, but never mind, uh, we'll sort that out for another day. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you a quick update on what's not happened not happened today because <laughs> nothing really has happened um i'm on the second round of the lace trim and i've got six rounds to go so <laughs> uh whether i get that finished tonight or not i'm not sure so i'm gonna work on it now and we will see so i've had dinner i've had a shower um done my hair sort of <laughs> uh, but i'm just working on this and i've had to um un do a massive uh, knot that came out of the ball. Uh, Ian even tried helping me and then gave up at the end. Um, he was like, no, it needs to be cut. I was like, no, no, no. Um, so I did finally get it um, untangled, but look at all that on top. Um, so I'm on row four, um, as I had to pull a row back. So um, I'm really pleased with it. It's looking really nice. I've got my nightdress on, so. Um, but it's looking really nice and I can't wait for it to be finished. Don't know whether I'll put it on the sleeves yet. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough. Uh, but I've just got a couple of more rows to go. Hopefully I'll get those done this evening. Um, it's only six rows and it's not taking me that long to go around. So, um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you. Um, hopefully I'll get this done tonight. Um, I haven't edited yesterday's vlog. Just not been in the mood. Uh, so if... I've got time, I'll do it tomorrow morning, but I'm going to Casey's tomorrow, so I don't know whether I'm going to have time or not. So you might see a couple a couple of days in uploaded in one day sort of thing, um, but I'm sure you won't mind that and you can watch them as and when. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well and safe and I shall see you in the next one. Bye! Hi guys, um, it's now Saturday, so a lot longer after I've filmed the vlog that you've just watched, uh, but I just want to add this to the end. Uh, it's the 1st of August today, so uh, this month I'm going to do weekly vlogs, uh, just to give me a break from editing every day and bits and pieces. So yeah, for this month there will be month, uh, weekly vlogs, um, and if there is sort of a lot of footage then I will put that up separately but mainly I'm hoping to do uh, weeklies. So I just thought I'd catch you up before you don't see a vlog for quite a while. Um, excuse the state, but yeah, I'm gonna edit the, this vlog, which is very, very late, so I do apologize. Um, 
but I just thought I would let you know. Thanks for watching. Bye.